a bit of embarrassment. Known as super fakes, a new kind of designer fake bag that costs a fraction of what the original does. That comes out of manufacturers in Guangzhou, China. I was able to acquire this $2,000 bag for $100. It arrived and it looked exactly like the original real thing. I brought it to the Celine store. I've sort of stealthily looked at it up close against the real thing. And there's really nothing that would set it apart. Authenticators at resale sites even struggle themselves with trying to figure out if a bag is fake or not. Not. Because they're so well done with the stitching, the fabric, uh, the style of leather, sometimes they even have the fake authentication card alongside the bag. The first super fake bag seller that I contacted was someone named Linda. She responded instantaneously with a dozen photos of different versions of the bag that I could buy from this factory, this factory, and which color would I want. It was all incredibly professional. The selling and the manufacturing and the designing are all done separately, so it's like a chain of blocks and each block does not speak to the other one which prevents them from all getting busted if one block is to be taken down. A fake bag may be used to carry a bit of embarrassment, a bit of shame. It's actually grown from being something that is shameful to being something that it's celebrated. Influencers across the board are making videos about buying super fake bags. The entire process of buying a super fake bag myself kind of exposed me to how anticlimactic the real things are.